or something like oh, that. Oh, that's a good one, too. MP. CJ. I want to introduce you to Tamika Tramalio, Executive Director of the National Basketball Players Association. Ms. Tramalio, nice to meet you. Such a pleasure. Please call me Tamika. No doubt. Yes, ma'am. So we're here to talk union, right? That's right. And now that we're all here, so let's get to it. Cool, I'm ready. So the Players Association in its simplest terms is here to protect, support, and amplify the players. We make sure that you are taken care of while the ball's still bouncing and then post-career as well. When Tamika says we, she means me and you, and everyone who plays in this league. It's a brotherhood. We look out for each other and the union helps us achieve our goals. That's right, I'm elected by you, the players, to lead the union on your behalf. We exist by and for the players, and we advocate on behalf of the players. We look after their best interests, all of the NBA players. Before the union, however, players did not receive the same benefits that they actually receive today. It's not just contract stuff either. The PA has all kinds of ways to support what you do outside the NBA. Charity work? Business ventures, my favorite thing, all of the players have an and. They are exceptional players, and they do something else. So. What's your and? Oh, um, I have to think on that a little more. Good to know that you're there for support, though. If you have any questions about any of this, you can always reach out to your player room. And as one of the brightest young talents in this league, you would make a great player rep yourself. Player reps represent their respective teams. They gather information and they take it back to their teams. You actually speak on behalf of your teammates and you are intricately involved. We encourage you to be involved in this. You're someone that people would really look up to. Well, like I said, this all sounds great. Appreciate you taking the time to walk me through this. Of course, man. It's really been a pleasure. Thank you again. Thank you. All right, we're gonna try this one more time. Welcome back to this 2K23, 23. 24 my career we're back with Gerald Johnson we're gonna try this again let's hope it's not abysmal I have 42 badges since when whatever um we're gonna hope it's not abysmal like it was last episode with that video if you didn't watch it go check it out uh it was called the worst 2k20 the worst 2k since 2k18 um so we're gonna try this again maybe avoid shooting a little bit um but in this matchup, we are going up against the Boston Celtics, Tatum, Brown, Porzingis, and Brogdon. This is not a great team to go up against um, right after that episode, but we're going to do it anyways. Tatum, 95 overall. Jalen Brown, only an 89 overall. Let's uh, let's get it. Uh, we are currently the best team in the East. Gerald's averaging 29 and 15. And let's see if we can get a big win. I am going to change my jump shot back to Trey Burke, though, because that's a jump shot uh, Cedric Lewis uses. All righty, back here in the Kaseya Center here in Miami, going up against the Boston Celtics rematch of the Eastern Conference Finals. Let's see if Gerald Johnson can have a bounce back game here. It's been a minute since I've touched my career. This is my first matchup up against the Celtics. I hate the Celtics as a Heat fan, of course, as we all should. Let's see what Gerald can do. I'm probably going to avoid shooting threes unless I'm like completely wide open maybe be a little bit more timid on the offensive end besides throwing lobs of course to Bam at a bio because we all know how difficult it is to score in this game and I'm not even on Hall of Fame yet no foul dude what do I have to do to draw a foul in this game like seriously bro do I should I just do floaters every time since I can't draw a foul or make any contact layup 2k is that what you want why don't we just shoot floaters every time? He's going to drain that, isn't he? Yup. I, wow, I did not miss this crap. Look how close he guards me, bro. I have no room. Throw up a floater. I get blocked, see? Like, this is, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. I can't score. I can't score. Finally. Thank you. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I really don't. It's, it's the fact that they guard me at half court is how is the difficulty in scoring that's why it's so difficult because i have no room to get anything going on offense no room because they just half court press me full court press me every single play every single one i have no room jimmy butler great steal i'm on the break jimmy you got you got to pass that point. i'm gonna miss this aren't i how does the... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't even know if we got the rebound. No, we didn't. Explain to me how this works, 2K. The physics of this. The physics of this. How in the hell 
So the ball goes up, right? The ball goes up whenever, wherever the hell it is. It goes up in a straight, straight up, right? No curve, nothing. It's on the right side. If anything, it bounces left. It should drop right in. Physics, right? Drops right in. It sits there, and then the, the ghost of Sparta pushes it to the right. Seriously? Give me that effort. Yeah. When do you see an NBA player go for an inbounds deal? What are you doing? What are you doing? Seriously, 2K? This is what... I go for an inbounds deal. Let's... Yeah. Instead of putting your left arm out to try and get it, what does he do? He looks at the ball. That is an easy just catch it. Easy steal. That That's what he does. It just lets it go. All you got, all you got to do is put your arms out, and that's your basketball. And he's like, "Nope, I." He he got shot. He got shot. The guy, the man who shot Lincoln, shot Gerald Johnson there. Oh, like, brother, how do people? How? How? How am I supposed to play this game? And then Al Horford just simple, simple three. Yeah. And wow, wow, who who would have saw that coming? Who would have saw that coming? I slow down. I'm full head of steam. Instead of just going up for a dunk, I slow down. I slow down so Tatum gets there in time to contest it. Instead of just full head of steam, I have 90 speed. Al Horford ain't getting there. Derek White wasn't getting there because he wasn't helping. I should be able to go right by Tatum. That's a dunk. And no, I slow down so Tatum can contest it. That this is why I stopped playing my career. <laughs> this, is, this is the exact reason right here. Exact reason right here. And look, a foul. Look, a foul. Challenge, challenge it. The only bright spot of this my career is just is Bam when he's making the lobs I throw him because he is very prone to uh, missing dunks. I of course my character stops. Of course my character stops. Of course he does. Cause why, Jimmy? In what universe? Why? Why would you pass it back? And Jalen Brown hits. He hits a shot. He hits a shot. So f. Why am I looking at the ground? 2K. What a great replay system. So effortlessly, double team. I know Hero didn't do anything, but he's there. So easily, but I can't hit a simple layup. I can't hit a simple layup. But Jalen Brown can effortlessly. Hit a mid-range shot with two defenders in front of him or in his presence. Like, are we serious right now? And Jimmy's going to miss that. Yeah. And Jimmy can't make a simple layup. Not anyone really around him can't make it. But Jalen Brown over here can just drill a mid-range shot double contested. A flurry of events, a.k.a. a Jimmy Butler 3, and then a Jimmy Butler steal leading to a bam dunk. And has got us back within two, so... Let's play the game. How will it will be ruined and who will it be ruined by? Number one, Tyler Hero, but he doesn't ruin it. He does not ruin it. Let's keep the momentum going. Bam, you've been our number one so far this game. Uh, okay, Brogdon did not really fall for that screen as well as I thought. I was getting double teamed. Hero is running the same direction I am. He did it twice. I'm going right up to the basket. How do I miss? I got to turn the layup meter on. I've got to turn the layup meter on then. I can't just leave it to chance. I can't just leave it to chance every time. I really thought it was going to go through the Al Horford screen. And then I have so, my defensive ratings are so bad. Brogdon just easily gets by me. I can't leave it to chance every time. I really should turn on my layup meter. Just to have some goddamn control over it. Jimmy Butler, bring us home, buddy. Or completely miss a shot because they don't want to call any fouls for us. Tyler here, wide open in the corner. They were double teaming. Please, he trains it. One point game. After a Tatum miss, we have a chance to take the lead here. I'm a backdoor cut right here. Please, I beg of you, we have the lead. 84 to 83, a minute and a half left in this third quarter. We finally have the lead right back. Listen, we should be able to extend on our lead here. They really only have Jalen Brown in the game. Uh, Rob Williams got hurt, so that's definitely going to help. Oh my God, we got THJ on Jalen Brown. That's just a guaranteed bucket for them. That's a guaranteed bucket for them. He misses. I get the rebound over Banton. Can we extend this lead? It'd be much needed. I have really no help in the game besides Hero Martin. And I lose the ball. Awesome. Awesome. Banton. I couldn't play better defense than that. Because I, would, I guarantee you, I would bet my house on it, that if that was me taking that shot, it's a brick. 
Pump fakes. Caleb sometimes. Okay. And he misses. Put it right back up. Please. Caleb, shoot the goddamn ball. Oh, my God, dude. He had a shot. Oh, my God. Bam, what a block. Bam at a bio. Run the floor, Bam. I got to repay you. And you missed on Sam Howell, so you got your own rebound. You just wanted to pat your stats. It's fine. I. It's all good. It's all good. Pat your stats, brother. Bam's got 27. He has got three steals and now a big block for us to extend our lead to seven. Jimmy Butler's not even in the game. We have Duncan Robinson guarding uh, Tatum, and that explains all of that. Tatum misses, though. That's big. I thought Tim Hardaway was playing small forward. Okay. I'm cutting. I'm cutting. Uh, layup? Oh, my God. I actually hit it. I figured Al Horford was just going to turn around, become superhuman, and block that. We're up by nine. The Celtics haven't scored since the third quarter. I just had a great defensive possession there on that last play. I'm going straight to the basket. I passed it up because I'm scared. I'm not going to lie. Duncan from downtown. Take a reactive. Duncan Robinson extends the lead to 16. 10 seconds left. We're up by 15. We're going to get a big dominant victory over the Boston Celtics here. Why are we double teaming? Three seconds left. Jalen Brown with the ball. Top of the key. Gives it back to Tatum. They're not going to take a shot. We're going to win 104-119 here in Miami. Game before the All-Star break. Final box score, bam, at a bio, bro. It's the only person keeping my sanity playing my career. 33 points, 17 rebounds, 5 assists with 3 steals and 2 blocks. It like That stat line is insane. He almost had a 5x5. Five five. He almost had a 5x5. Five five. 15 to 22 from the field. Gerald Johnson, 9 of 20. Looks so ugly, but it's not a bad shooting split. It's like 46%, something like that. 26 points, 8 rebounds, 12 assists, 5 turnovers. I just want to be very, very specific. Four of those or three of those were complete bogus from 2K of just I'm standing there and my body just hits Malcolm Brogdon and he gets a steal. They said they got rid of that and they clearly did it. So that's why I had five turnovers I shouldn't have. Hero had 14. Jimmy had 14. He struggled though. Martin had 13 off the bench. Uh, for the Celtics, Tatum, 26, but he struggled. 10 of 25, 6 of 14, 4 turnovers. Brown, once again, 18 points, 7 of 18. They both struggled against the Heat. What else is new? Al Horford had 14. Brogdon had 3 steals. Shouldn't have had any of them, to be brutally honest with you. And then Derek White had 12. Anyways, that's going to be it for me. GG.